God speaks in five or more different languages. Dreams is one of them. You must know the power of a dream. Dreaming. What is God saying to you? Dreams. Your future revealed. Thomas Edison. God gave him a dream of the light bulb. Albert Einstein. E equals MC squared, discovered the scientific breakthrough that solves many mathematical problems. Larry Page, the owner of Google, his multi-billion dollar company was inspired and invented through a dream. I woke up literally with a dream. It went like, I think I could download the entire web onto some old computers that were lying around. Dr. Martin Luther King, as you know, that famous speech, he said, I had a dream. I have a dream. And he literally had a dream that night about blacks and whites holding hands. In Abraham Lincoln's dream, he dreamed of three people at a coffin crying and weeping. And he walks up in the dream to the people crying and weeping at the coffin. He says, why are you crying? They says, the American president has just been assassinated. He didn't see himself in the coffin in the dream. If he was with me, I would have told him the three people represent you have three days. You're the American president. The dream is about you. And they gave you how you died. You were assassinated. So what that means, we need to put security around you for the next three days. I would have helped him to preserve his life. Jack Nikolai, that's right. He dreamed how to hold the club before he won the tournament. Yes, sir. John Brooks, who won the, the cup, he talks about the dream he had in sports. And that guy, John Brooks, that you just spoke of, then told Jeremy Schaap afterward that he had a dream he was going to score that goal. The dream, well, that was a dream game, dream scenario, I thought, for Team USA. So I, I was riveted and wildly excited. He actually had a dream that he would score on a header, on a corner kick, for his team to win. Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest players to play the game. Bryant, on the pull up, puts it in. The Lakers repeat back to back titles. And they have done it at the expense of their arch rival from Boston. The tragic death of Kobe Bryant was shockingly dreamed beforehand. Kobe Bryant, dead at 41 years old, killed Sunday when the helicopter he was in crashed in the hills of Calabasas, California. Also on board, his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna. It was shown about Kobe Bryant, how he died in the helicopter. I'm so sorry for his family, his wife, and his children. I really want to introduce the dream movement because I know he or somebody around him dreamed about his death. It's not enough dreamers on the earth trained. Listen now to a woman's testimony who dreamed three years prior to Kobe Bryant's passing. I had a dream and one of the individuals looked at me and said, Kobe Bryant just got killed. And I said, Kobe Bryant? In the dream, it's like a vision came up and I could see Kobe Bryant walking out of this building. These three people, individuals, dressed like with hoods and like black on, they appear. They were the one that, that killed him. Vernon Forrester, he used to be the featherweight champion of the world. Hard right hand by Forrest, mostly in trouble again. Vernon was the dangerous opponent. He dreamed one night that robbers were coming in. He says, when I was just about to reach for my gun in a dream, I woke up. Vernon Forrest dreamed of his death beforehand, tweeting about what he saw. I dreamt I came home, guys were breaking in my house, they chased me, uh, was about to shoot me. Seven days later, he's at the gas station and some guys come to rob him. They have guns and they shoot and kill him. If I could have been in his life, I could have helped preserve him from that. So I'm talking to football players. I'm talking to basketball players. I'm talking to baseball players, soccer players. Whatever sports you do, please do not think God don't talk to you. Charles Middleton dreamt two nights in a row of the Titanic sinking. And because of these warnings, he didn't board the ship, and his life was spared. I booked a cabin in the Titanic on March 23rd. I felt unaccountably depressed at the time, and on April 3rd, I dreamt I saw the Titanic capsized and a lot of the passengers struggling in the water. The following night, I dreamt exactly the same dream. The next day, I told my wife and several of my friends on receiving cable advice from America that my business did not necessitate my crossing at once. I decided to cancel my passage. Because he hearkened to this dream, he lived to tell the story. Nikola Tesla received a series of dreams which gave him the ideas for the technology that has become the foundation of many of Tesla's products. 
a Serbian-American engineer who held over 300 patents. He is most famous for developing alternating current, a system of delivering electricity widely used today. Hence, Elon Musk named his company Tesla. The company is named after Nikola Tesla, who is an inventor. Uh, so he, he was a great man, a great, great inventor. Um, and the, so the company's named in honor of him. The winner of Miss Universe revealed in a dream by God. Are y'all ready to crown your Miss Universe? Your mom dreamed mm -hmm. that you would be Miss Universe. She did. And it was, I was about 13 years old. And then she said, honey, I had a dream that you won Miss Universe in a red dress. And I was like, okay, mom. <laughs> but you did, you won Miss <laughs> Universe in a red dress. Right. The future of Hollywood revealed by God in dreams. It began in a dream. The highest grossing film of all time. Given to James Cameron in the 1970s. Now, nearly 35 years later, the Oscar award winning film has been seen around the world. The very first seed of Avatar was a dream I had when I was in college. And I had a dream about a, uh, an amazing forest that was bioluminescent and I got up uh, afterwards I was so inspired by the dream I started sketching it and years later I started to incorporate that concept into a story called Avatar. Christopher Nolan, a visionary filmmaker renowned for his unparalleled storytelling prowess and cinematic innovation has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema admits to being spoken to in dreams concerning his movies. I've always found dreams to be a very uh, inspiring part of my life. A lot of the inspiration for Inception was from dreaming. Well, dreams, they feel real while we're in them, right? It's only when we wake up that we realize something is actually strange. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed. Within the pages of the Bible, we encounter numerous characters whose lives were touched and transformed by their dreams. Joseph, a beloved son among his brothers, was a dreamer whose visions aroused both envy and intrigue. He dreamed of sheaves of wheat bowing down to him, symbolizing his rise to prominence and authority. Although initially dismissed by his brothers, these dreams ultimately led Joseph to become a high-ranking official in Egypt, second only to Pharaoh himself. Through the interpretation of dreams, Joseph saved his family and an entire nation from famine. Daniel, a wise and righteous man, possessed the ability to decipher dreams and unravel their hidden meanings. He unraveled the symbolism within dreams and received visions that foretold the rise and fall of kingdoms. Joseph, who is recognized as the earthly father of Jesus Christ, was warned in a dream to flee to Egypt with Jesus to escape death. The angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt. And so many more people in the Bible were spoken to by God in dreams. And even now, until this day, God still speaks in dreams. God showed David E. Taylor a dream concerning the future of America, which was a war coming from Russia. I saw the United States is going to be attacked by Russia. That nuclear disaster is coming to this country if we don't turn this around. It all started when David E. Taylor was a teenager in college. When the Lord first began to speak to me about America was when I was in college. God showed him a dream in two parts that started to come to pass. One, that the trade centers would be bombed. He saw this 10 years before 9-11. Two, Russia paid off terrorists who bombed the World Trade Centers. He also saw that Russia was planning submarine nuclear warfare to nuke America. Sid Roth heard his renowned testimony and had him on his worldwide hit television show, It's Supernatural. He's 100% accurate on prophetic dreams. Before the war hit America, I saw the planning and they planned to go under sea to attack America. This warning concerning an upcoming war has been shown by dreams to thousands all over America and the world. 
Numerous individuals have been posting on social media, sharing their accounts of dreams they've experienced. I started having these dreams about Russia invading America. Some of the dreams that I've had about war, submarines, they destroyed the US. In this dream, I heard the newscast, uh, it is apparent that we are being invaded and warships, submarines. And this is what I saw, guys. This is the color of Russia's flag. But God has given David E. Taylor the solution found in the Bible, in 2 Chronicles, in returning back to God by seeking and finding His face. Have you ever had a dream where Jesus appeared to you? David E. Taylor has, for over 35 years of global ministry, and he possesses valuable insights into dream interpretation and is eager to assist you in comprehending the significance of your dreams. If you seek understanding about your dreams, don't hesitate to call in now for guidance. The scripture speaks of visitations from angels, even in the dream realm. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? David E. Taylor has also been visited by angels concerning many areas of life and world events. If you've had dreams where angels appeared to deliver messages, we encourage you to call in and share what the Lord conveyed to you. In a dream experience, David E. Taylor was appeared to by the Godhead, comprising of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost on numerous occasions. Some of you may also witness these manifestations in your dreams, with instances of dreaming about Jehovah seated at the throne of God. The phenomenon of God revealing Himself has been ongoing for thousands of years. If you've dreamt about aspects of your life such as your business, marriage, spouse, children, or career, these are important messages about your life that will either save your career or situation, make it better and more successful, or stop its failure. Call in now for help with your dreams. 1-877-THE-GLORY, 843-4567. This is why David E. Taylor has compiled the biggest dream dictionary in the world to help you interpret the symbols you see in your dreams. If you want to be trained to be a dream interpreter and you feel that call of God upon your life because you are a dreamer, call in now. You can also text 720-202-9147 for free mentorship information and free dream teaching. David E. Taylor trains dream messengers, those whom God has chosen one out of every thousand to be a dream officer. As the Bible says, if there be a messenger with him and interpreter, one among a thousand. Call in today to be mentored and trained to be a dream interpreter. You can also receive more information at joshuamediaministries.org. David E. Taylor not only serves as a mentor in the dream ministry, but he has also received direct teachings and has been commissioned from Jesus himself in face-to-face -face appearances. This divine mandate drives him to train millions globally through his renowned School for Miracles, specializing in the miraculous healing ministry of Jesus Christ. Furthermore, he dedicates himself to nurturing leaders through both online and in-person mentorship programs, covering the apostolic, prophetic, pastoral, evangelistic, and teaching ministries. What is God saying to you? Learn dream symbols from David E. Taylor, such as actions, animals, colors, places, people, metals, numbers, body parts, vehicles, insects, and so much more that you see in your dreams. God releases dreams about circumstances you need victory in. And if you can listen, you will have victory. For over 34 years, David E. Taylor has mastered the language of dreams taught by God and being called to the office of the dreamer to help you take dominion over the dream realm. He's 100% accurate on prophetic dreams. The mission that God has given me for this dream movement is restoring mankind to hear the voice of God in their dreams today in the 21st century. Dreams have been overlooked, undermined, and downplayed in our generation. It is time that we know the importance of dreams and what God is saying through them to preserve our life, to make our life more better, wealthy, healthy, and to preserve us from sudden deaths, tragic deaths, tragedies, accidents. God is speaking every day across the world to somebody in a dream. What is yours? Call in today and tell us. This is your friend, David Taylor. I love you. Call me and tell me what your dreams are from God.
and I can help you hear what he is saying to you. Let me help you hear the voice of God today. The voice of God is real. Many of you have said, does God even speak? God has been speaking to you in your dreams, but you didn't think it was God. You just thought, oh, it's another dream. It's a bunch of symbols. God is the one who started dreams upon the earth. And it is him you must go to, to get the interpretation of that dream. This is David Taylor. And my mission is to restore honor and cause a discovery in your life for the voice of God through the dreams he show you in your sleep today in the 21st century. If you or your loved ones have had dreams that you need interpreted, don't delay to call in. Understanding your dreams is vital. It can mean the difference between life or death, success or failure, victory or defeat. Call today. David E. Taylor's 24-7 Prayer and Dream Interpretation Line. 877-843-4567. Text 720-202-9147 and type the promo code DREAMS to receive a complimentary product on dream interpretation titled The Importance of Dreams. You can also reach out to one of David E. Taylor's skilled ministers who will provide you with free dream interpretation. Scan this QR code to your phone for a free dream teaching.